picture this, you've just smashed a heavy leg session, squats, lunges, maybe even some deadlifts. You're drenched, your muscles are on fire and all you can think about is protein and a shower. But instead of heading home, you step into a room that feels like you've opened the gates of hell, the sauna. For most guys, the sauna is that hot room in the gym where people sit and sweat. Maybe something you use once in a blue moon. But what if I told you that stepping inside could be one of the most powerful recovery tools for building muscle, improving your cardiovascular health, and even giving your hormones, yes, testosterone included, a subtle edge. Sauna isn't just about relaxing, it's about resilience. It's about training your body in ways most people completely overlook. And today I want to show you exactly how it can transform not just your health, but also your performance in and out of the gym. So grab some water, sit back, because this one's going to heat up quick. Let's get into it. Here's the thing, when most people talk about recovery, they think of sleep, protein, and maybe a massage gun. Rarely does anyone put sauna at the top of the list, but the sauna isn't just some spa luxury. It's like a workout for your cardiovascular system without lifting a weight. Your heart rate shoots up, your blood vessels expand, and your body gets this crazy circulation boost that pushes nutrients into your muscles and flushes waste product out. Think about it. You train your muscles hard in the gym, right? But what about your blood vessels, your cardiovascular system? The sauna is basically cardio without the treadmill and it makes your recovery engine run smoother, which means faster repair, less soreness and better performance in your next session. Now, I don't just want you to take my word for it. Let's talk science for a second. There's a study titled Cardiovascular and Other Health Benefits of Sauna Bathing a review of the evidence published in the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. What they found was insane. Regular sauna use was linked with better heart health, low risk of sudden cardiac death, and even improved blood pressure. But here's the kicker for us gym rats. The improvements in circulation and heart efficiency directly support muscle recovery, more oxygen delivery, faster nutrient transport, and quicker removal of lactic acid. That's the stuff that gets you in the gym sooner and performing harder. So when people laugh about just sitting in the heat, what they don't realize is your body is working overtime to adapt. All right, let's dive into something that every guy who's serious about lifting cares about, growth hormone. You already know that growth hormone is like your body's natural recovery juice. It repairs tissue, helps you build lean muscle, and even keeps you leaner. But here's where the sauna gets interesting. Short bouts of sauna use, we're talking about 15 to 20 minutes, can cause your growth hormone to spike massively. Some research shows increases up to 200% depending on how you structure your sessions. Imagine boosting the very hormone that repairs your muscles after lifting just by sitting in heat. It's like getting a free recovery supplement without actually swallowing a pill. Now, let's back this up with some science. A study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism found that participants who engaged in two 20-minute sauna sessions at 176 Fahrenheit, 80 degrees, experienced a two-fold increase in their HEH levels. Another study revealed that 30-minute sauna sessions at 163 Fahrenheit, 73 degrees, led to a fivefold increase in HEH levels. But it doesn't stop there. Dr. Andrew Huberman, a neuroscientist at Stanford, has highlighted the importance of heat exposure for HEH production. In his discussions, he notes that sauna use can lead to a natural and safe increase in HEH levels, which is particularly beneficial for individuals looking to improve their muscle mass, reduce body fat, and enhance overall well-being. So how can you use this to your advantage? Dr. Human suggests a specific sauna protocol to maximize HGH release. That involves 30 minutes in the sauna, then cool off outside the sauna for five minutes and repeat the cycle for a total of four 30 minute sessions in one day. This method has been shown to dramatically boost the amount of growth hormone released. Remember, consistency is key. Incorporating sauna sessions into your routine following the recommended protocols can provide a natural boost to your growth hormone levels, aiding in muscle recovery and overall health. And here's something people don't talk about enough. The sauna isn't just a physical tool, it's also mental training. 
It forces you to sit in discomfort when every signal in your body is telling you to quit. That exact pressure builds the kind of resilience most men are lacking today. Your skin burns, your breathing picks up, your heart rate is racing, and yet the challenge isn't just the heat, it's your own mind telling you to leave. Staying in is the test. Every time you push through those minutes, you sharpen the same grit you need under a heavy barbell or in the middle of a pushing set when everything inside you says drop the weight. And the science backs this up. One paper titled The Role of Resilience and Purpose in Life in Habituation to Heat and Cold Pain in Healthy Women showed that people with high resilience and purpose were able to tolerate painful thermal stress more effectively. In simple terms, the mind directly influences how the body handles heat. Another study, heat stress preconditioning attenuates behavioral responses to psychological stress, found that controlled exposure to heat stress produce adaptations that reduce later anxiety-like responses. That's not just about comfort in the sauna, it suggests that heat itself can condition your stress response system. So when you sit in the sauna, it's more than sweat. It's deliberate exposure to stress, it trains your nervous system, your vascular system, and your mindset to handle pressure better. That resilience carries into your training and into your everyday life, making you harder to break both physically and mentally. Let me drop another study here. This one is called Repeated Thermotherapy Improves Impaired Vascular Endothelial Function in Patients with Coronary Risk Factors, published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology. I know that title sounds like a mouthful, but Here's a key takeaway. Repeated sauna use improved blood vessel function. Why does that matter for us? Because better blood flow means better pumps, better nutrient delivery, and ultimately better muscle growth and recovery. This isn't just some made up spa treatment. It's scientifically backed to enhance the exact systems that support your training. Now I've got to address something people get wrong, detox. You'll hear influencers say, all the sauna sweats out toxins and yes technically you do sweat out a small amount of heavy metals and other junk but let's be real your liver and kidneys are the real detox powerhouses the real value of sweating in the sauna isn't some magical detox it's that it keeps your skin healthy helps regulate your body temperature and again boosts circulation like crazy that's what actually matters now since this channel is testosterone growth i've got to mention it there's some evidence that sauna use may have a mild positive impact on testosterone, mostly because of the reduced stress load, improved recovery and better sleep that comes from regular use. It's not going to triple your levels, but in combination with weight training, good diet and proper recovery, it's another tool in the kit. Think of it like this. Sauna won't give you superhuman testosterone, but it supports a lifestyle that keeps your hormones in a healthy range, which means more muscle, better mood, and sharper performance. Sauna bathing is associated with reduced cardiovascular mortality and improves risk prediction in men and women, a prospective cohort study published in the journal BMC Medicine. This one followed over 2,000 people in Finland, where sauna is basically a way of life and found that frequent sauna users had significantly low risk of cardiovascular mortality. But beyond that, they improved overall markers, meaning their bodies were functioning better across the board. And if your heart circulation and recovery are on point, your muscles and performance will always benefit. Okay, so you're sold on the sauna. Now the question is, how do you actually use it? Here's a sweet spot most research points to. Two to four times a week, 15 to 20 minutes per session. Aim for around 80 to 90 degrees, 175 to 95 Fahrenheit if you're in a traditional Finnish sauna. If you're just starting out, don't be a hero. Start with shorter sessions, maybe 10 minutes and build up. Hydrate well because you're sweating buckets and ideally use the sauna after training, not before. That way you don't drain your energy before lifting. Some people even like to alternate with cold showers or ice baths, that hot and cold contrast. That's optional, but seriously, it feels incredible and can add another layer of recovery benefits. So here's my challenge to you. Next time you finish training, don't just pack up and leave, hit the sauna. Start small, build a habit and see how your body responds. Because sometimes it's not about doing more sets, buying more supplements or complicating your routine. It's about using ancient proven methods that make you stronger inside and out. 
the sauna is one of them. Thanks for watching. If you got value from this, hit that like button, subscribe to Testosterone Growth and share it with someone who needs to hear it. Stay disciplined, stay strong and I'll see you in the next one.